spring is here. All right, since I was in here last week, it has not been a very good week. It's been cold and raining. Today, we finally have some sun. The dandelions are up. The apple blossoms are just, just, but they're not open yet. First thing I'm gonna do today is go into the Russian hive and see what's going on in there. The general consensus on the last video was that that queen is getting old. She's past her prime. Um, she's run out of sperm to fertilize the eggs, so she's laying drone eggs, and uh, that's why the hive is filling, filling up with drones. So I'm gonna go in there and see what's going on. Um, if they're preparing to swarm, uh, there, there should be even more signs today if that's the case. If she's just laying drones and she's getting old, it might be time to replace her. So here we go. A Russian hive. So we're gonna be looking for swarm cells and we're gonna see if the queen has started laying workers. Okay, I'm gonna start down at the bottom. Just have a quick peek here, see if I see swarm cells anywhere. Do not. There are cups, but Russians make a lot of cups. That's, that's normal stuff. I don't see any drones in here. I see tons of worker bees. I don't see drone bees. So, you know, whatever's in there, maybe they haven't hatched yet. This hive has just gotten very chill. All last summer, it was just super hot. And they've just gotten really mellow. This is a good pollen frame. There's a few drones in there. There's a cup up there, but again, Russians doing Russian things by just making cups. I'm seeing more drones now walking around. That's worker brood. Okay, there are fresh eggs in this frame. You know, the, the, the pattern is a little weird, but doesn't, you know, doesn't, it's not alarming. It's a mix of worker and drone, but the, the drone is kind of together. You know, it's not just really spotty or scattered. That's all worker brood. Worker brood and pollen. All right, no swarm cells at all. Drone brood, but not an excessive amount. Not a lot of stores in the bottom. Tons of pollen. You know, good mix of drones and worker. Good mix of drone and worker brood. Bottom looks good. Bottom looks totally normal. Okay, let's check out the top. Okay, here's our drones. Jeez. That's all drones right there. I don't, I don't like that because I don't like, I don't really want to have a whole bunch of Russian drones flying through the bee yard. I may try and prevent this frame from hatching. If all those drones hatch, there's gonna be a lot of drones to mate with my other bees, and I kind of don't want the bees to mate with Russians. They're not my favorite bee to keep. Okay, that's just the normal amount of drone brood there. Not an excessive amount, just a few. And those are just your standard Russian cups. Those are not swarm cups. That's what Russians do at the bottom of frames. There's a frame of worker brood. Solid frame of brood right there. It's just the pollen frame. All right, the only weird thing is that one frame of tons of drones. And I think I may remove that from the hive. It's very hard to see eggs, but there's very young larva in here. There's, there's newly hatched larva. So I'm, something in here is laying and it doesn't, it doesn't look spotty or odd like a laying worker. So I, I believe it, I think the queen's laying. I think she's all right. Oh, there she is. Okay. She's right in the middle of this frame. All right. She's on this frame. I'm going to take that drone frame out of there. I don't like it. There's plenty of drones in here, but they don't need that frame. So this is a um, foundationless frame. And I think what happened was this foundationless frame was in there. And I know this used to be filled with nectar. This was a huge frame of, uh, of honey. And it looks like they cleaned it out. And because it was such big cells, I think the queen just laid into it. I think she just thought this was a drone frame and she laid into it because there were giant cells. And that's just what happened. Cause she, you know, it's like she took the, she went to the biggest cells in the frame. These are worker size right here and there's still some honey in there. 
These are worker size. And then these are bigger. These are like drone size. I think she just laid this because it was drone size comb. So I think that's the resolution here. But I am going to... I am going to destroy this this comb because I don't want this many Russians flying around the bee yard. All right, I'm just giving them an empty frame. It's all drawn, regular worker comb. It's got a, a plastic foundation. I think the queen was just doing what she does. You know, she she saw a drone size comb and she she filled it up. So now they don't have a frame like that in there anymore and she's going to just hopefully lay worker brood. They got a lot of space in there still. There's brood hatching out. She's laying eggs and uh, hopefully we're going to have a flow coming on soon and they can start bringing in some nectar. All right, let's have a look at Balboa, see how they're building up. My main concern right now is just low stores at this time of year where we are at the brink of, of, of nectar really coming in. And uh, a lot of these hives are totally empty, and I did not feed anything. A lot of people probably think I should have fed. I have, I have a question about that. So here's my question. If, I'm, if my bees are low on stores, but there's a flow that's about to begin, and I give them syrup, they're going to fill up their space with syrup. And then if the nectar starts coming in, I, I don't know where they're putting the nectar compared to the syrup. So. If they only have one super and they're only going to fill maybe one super during this little flow, I don't want them to half fill it with sugar syrup and half fill it with nectar and then I don't know which to harvest. So that's why I haven't been feeding this close to the flow because I just don't want them to fill up what I'm going to harvest. I have a feeling that Balboa has extra food and the new package has not enough food so I may take a frame out of here and put it in the new package. There's a lot of honey on there. Okay, so that's pretty full. That's pretty full. All right, they got two whole frames of, of honey there. That's, that's full of eggs. All right, this is full of eggs too. So that's two frames of eggs. There's gonna be a lot of bees in this hive next week. Beginnings of a little cup couple cups. So we got to remember here that this is also about the beginning of Balboa's third season and they've got two queen cups here. Okay, let's see what's going on in the bottom. Totally empty. These are all empty. There's nothing here. It's just a pollen frame. Empty. Okay, we're getting into some brood now. This is that wacky queen cup weird comb thing they keep building over here it's not it's not even like there's a couple of drone cells in there but it's not even like drone it's just like cross comb and there she is surrounded by her attendants okay she's she looks normal everything looks good there all right so she's she's down here laying Okay, I'm going to steal a frame of honey out of here to put into new package. Give them a nice drawn out frame there so she can lay into that. Okay, everything looks normal in there. A little rearranging, but they're all good. Man, this hive is hopping. I'm going to start looking down below. It actually feels heavy. This population is just really crazy. I'm gonna do a little quick check for swarm cells. Nothing under there. Tons of pollen. Just a really good looking population. Waggle dancing going on. Frame full of pollen. Emerging brood. There's a lot of drones in here, which is great news because I like this hive. Some emerging brood and pollen and, you know, there's just kind of bottom of the hive. You know, no, no nectar down here at all. Let's look up top, see where she's laying and see what they have for stores. 
I am filled with brood. I love this hive. Whoa, there she is right there. Looking fantastic. She's very much in control. This beautiful brood. Yeah, all these bees need is a flow. Population's there. Just need some apple trees to start blossoming. Boom! Monster hive. Boom! Five solid deeps. Alright, they don't need they don't need another thing of stores. Okay, this hive is about to explode. Alright, they got a super ready for a flow. Alright, let's check our other big monster double deep. So this hive is just a double deep. This made it through the winter double deep. And I've not supered it yet because they had a lot of space. But there were there was brood hatching, so let's see if they need a super today. I'm seeing drones in every hive. Start at the bottom. Pretty light. So that's just a medium frame with an extension on the bottom that they built themselves. But the queen's laying it. Same thing, medium frame that's been built down. Good, good place for them to put drones. There's our queen laying the bottom. Okay, a lot of empty frames down here, so, you know, space for her to fill up. All, all normal. So let's look up top, see if they need any food. I, I have that extra honey frame I can drop in here if they need some food. See if they have any brood up here, first of all. Some brood in there. Some drones. There's an empty frame. Okay, they do not need a super. They need food. Yeah, they made it through winter like this with all these like half-drawn frames. I didn't realize how much space they had in this hive all winter long. I thought they were more established than that. Alright, she laid up here. This is this is a uh, brood frame. Okay, I'm gonna drop that honey frame right in here because they are, they are very low on stores. Okay, one frame of brood up here and they don't need this frame. It's a frame of uh, some capped honey. Just gonna give that to them so they can use that for resources because that queen is laying. Give them a frame of honey. Queen is down in the bottom. There's a lot of capped brood in here, a lot of drones. They're doing great. No, uh, no signs of swarming or anything. Plenty of space to fill up. They need to grow a little bit more before they get a super. All right, this is our dual queen hive. Single queen hive. God, I gotta get some names. Queen was laying up here in this top, but I wanna see if she's moved down. Totally empty frame. Totally empty frame. Totally empty. Little pollen. A little bit of brood on there, but that was the brood that was laid like two or three weeks ago, so no new brood on that. That's a big pollen frame right there. So yeah, she's ignoring the bottom. Will not go down. Okay, so I'm going to put the little medium underneath this, this box and just let her go from the bottom and go up because she wants to go up. Okay, medium. Boom. Queen should be down here. If you can't get the queen to go down, you gotta get her to go up. There she is. She's right there. Make space for her to lay up top. All right, you're now on the top. Okay, mouse guard, top entrance, queen's down here, but this is all empty up here to lay into, and there's some stores up here. So they have food and they have space, and as soon as she gets up in here, I'm going to flip them back, put an excluder on, and then the brood that's down here will hatch out and go back down through the excluder. So I'll do another switcheroo as soon as she gets up into here in about a week. <laughs> She is very interested in me.
flying around my face. All right, so the Russian hive, I think she's okay. I don't think she's getting ready to swarm. I don't think she's getting old. I don't think she's run out of sperm. I just think that she found a frame of drone-sized comb and she just filled it up with drone eggs. I mean, she's laying on other frames and it's worker-sized comb and she's laying workers. So I think what happened last week when I was inspecting is I saw that frame first and I just went, oh my God, an entire frame of drones. I've never seen that before. And then I kept seeing drones on other frames. Maybe in my mind I was, you know, thinking there was more than there were, but there's kind of a normal amount on the other frames and then that frame was in there and it was excessive. So I just took that frame right out and we're gonna go have a look at it in a minute. But uh, yeah, she's, uh, she, you know, I just put a regular frame in there and hopefully she just keeps laying. When it comes right down to it, that, that, that queen is gonna be replaced at some point. And you know, when I replace her, I'm not gonna be replacing her with another Russian because the Russians were fine, but they didn't produce very much honey. They were kind of a pain in the ass to inspect. They were a little bit hot. And I don't know, just, I wanna try something new. So when anything happens to her, I'm probably gonna go with a Carniolan or I don't know what, maybe something different. But anyway, for now, she looks fine. And as far as everyone else is concerned, there's no sign of swarming anywhere. Build up is normal. Nobody needed another super. I did put a honey frame into, a f into one of the hives that looked light. Um, Balboa had more honey than they needed. You know, you saw the video. Um, everyone looks pretty good. You know, I didn't have to go into every hive because I know the other hives are still building. They're a little bit small. And we have not hit the flow yet. So it's coming. You know, if whatever spring flow we're gonna have, it's gonna happen, it's coming. Thank you as always for all of your amazing comments. Even if I don't totally agree with your comments, sometimes I learn from them. So, you know, they make me think, they make me go read more. So keep commenting, you know, don't, don't stop commenting if I don't reply to your comment or if I reply, you know, not positively to your comment. Just, you know, don't stop, just keep doing it. Keep pushing me because that's how I learn. So thank you again. Things are going great here and uh, yeah, stick around because there is going to be a lot happening very soon. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is our Russian drone brood and I'm just gonna open a few of these cells and see if I see Varroa in here. The Varroa like to drop into the cells right before they're capped. So then they have 21 days to live inside the cell with food and uh, eating off of the drones and laying more eggs. So Varroa really stand out when you pull them out. They, they're bright red and they'd be all over the bodies. Not seen one yet. Zero mites. All right, let's look at the other side quick. These are a little more mature. If there were mites on these, they they really stand out, and there'd be there'd be lots of them if if there was an infestation. Sorry to uh, murder all these bees, but. I have not seen any. All right, uh, no mites, and looks like we solved our drone laying problem by just taking them all out of the hive. So uh, there, there shouldn't be an excessive amount of Russian drones now flying around the bee yard. So, all right, that's it. See you on the next one.